Ciao a tutti! Oggi cuciniamo una ricetta deliciosa e semplice. Spaghetti alla carbonara, una ricetta della cucina italiana tradizionale. Hello everybody! We are uh, actually going to be cooking spaghetti alla carbonara today. It's another one of the Old Life Cooking Challenge uh, recipes and I'm very excited to do it because this is actually a, a recipe that I do all the time at home. I am obsessed with Italian cooking. So um, let's get right to it. Okay, so actually spaghetti carbonara is really, it's a simple recipe and it is actually just a few ingredients. Chef Noel Barile basically says that the biggest or one of the biggest rules is that you can't use any cream. Why is that? Because you use the pasta water, the cheese and the egg yolk all together make that sort of creamy sauce that makes the spaghetti carbonara. And so you shouldn't have to add any cream and adding any cream is actually like a big no-no. So what we have here is we have Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, black pepper, uh, we have our four egg yolks and then we am actually using pancetta right now instead of the guanciale and um, I like to use this pasta. It's actually a wheat semolina pasta from from Italy. It's actually from Naples and I really like this one. I've used it before in the past and I just feel like it gives a, a lot of starchiness to the water to the water which helps make that sauce really creamy. All right, so I'm actually gonna start grating the cheese. This is Pecorino Romano, which is one of my favorite cheeses, and the Parmigiano Reggiano. It's three cups of Parmigiano Reggiano, and I believe a cup of the Pecorino Romano. I like to go a little heavier on the Pecorino Romano. Um, it's really up to you. And uh, so I'm gonna start grating. So now we're gonna put the pasta into the water. So as you can see, I'm taking all of the pasta here. And what you can do is you, you do this little trick. I like to do this little trick where you like turn it and you turn it around like this. And then basically you drop it in and it ends up like that. All right, so uh, after I seared the pancetta, um, you don't have to use any oil with the pancetta or the guanciale because it actually already naturally has a lot of fat in it. So just let it sear it a little bit, or I like to make it a little bit crispier. So um, that's already done. And now what I'm gonna do is add the eggs and the pepper. Um, so here we have some fresh ground pepper, black pepper. I'm adding some black pepper to our cheese mix. I already grated the cheese, as you can see. It's a lot of beautiful cheese. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add our four egg yolks into the cheese. And uh, I actually do this a little bit different. Um, I learned this from an Italian uh, chef, actually. And um, I liked putting, what I do is I mix the cheese and everything together until you form sort of a kind of paste. So I mix that until it kind of has that consistency. And as the pasta cooks, I like to add a little bit of the starchy water from the pasta to complete, to make the paste a little bit, um, I guess more, a, bit a little more smooth. So here I add the extra water that I had taken from the pasta that was cooking because the starch and the water help make that creamy sort of paste that I was talking about. And uh, now you drain the pasta I've already saved the water that I needed and I put it into a saucepan and I add a little bit more of that starchy water and start mixing it um, vigorously because the pasta will start to absorb the water. And then uh, you go ahead and you add the cheese mixture um, with the egg yolk and uh, pepper already added to it. And uh, once you get it all in there, that is when you want to really start stirring a lot and uh, make sure that it gets all coated and it'll, you know, it starts to develop with the water that really, really creamy texture that makes the spaghetti carbonara really, really delicious. And there at the end, you know, I've added the pancetta that I had already seared and cooked. I'd like to make it a little bit more crispy and uh, it really makes it and brings it all together. It's an my, one of my favorite dishes and it's absolutely delicious. And here, you know, you just plate it 
Um, I like to take some tongs and put it into a large spoon and kind of make it a little, you know, a very nice presentation. I add some extra Pecorino Romano cheese and then I sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley. That's my decision. And there you go. Buon appetito.